Dobro Yutro, Divine Pisces 222. It is Tuesday, September 3rd, 2019. And I'm going to go ahead and do an energy check-in for our Twin Flames today. And they're already talking. <laughs> oh, uh, I know that it's uh, the energies have been shifting for sure. Like it's been, it's been weird. Like I've been like in a, I guess like a fog. Like I don't know. I just feel like I'm floating. Like you know, I'm just kind of walking through a dream. It's It's been really weird, and I know I'm not the only one feeling this, so shifts are definitely coming. Awakenings are happening here. Thank goodness the headaches are gone, but now it's just like, I feel like I took a bunch of painkillers, even though I didn't. It's, it's really weird. Hard for me to focus. So, um, but yeah, so uh, it's the first time we've seen Sagittarius in a hot minute. So, um, Sagittarius coming up, somebody's definitely feeling very restless, so I, I know that Divine Feminine's been feeling this way here for, for a little while, um, really impatient to kind of move forward, feeling like, you know, uh, nothing that she does helps the situation, right? Um, so this is, this is, uh, definitely something that's coming in very strong today. I feel like this is, this is back for the majority of divine feminines, but there are some divine masculines out there that are feeling really restless too. They're very, well, like I said, they haven't really been happy in the situations that they're in, and it's like really coming to light here how unhappy they are, right? Um, they're getting a lot of downloads, you know, a lot of aha moments happening, a lot of illumination with, with their situation, you know, they're probably finding out some things maybe about friends, family, karmic partners, that sort of thing. Um, that are helping them uh, break those those energetic ties, right? Uh, but still, I do feel a lot of shadow work, a lot of dark night of the soul for Divine Masculines. It's lifting a little bit. It's not as heavy as it was, um, but it's still, he's still technically going through it right now, right? Uh, and the Divine is trying to come in, right, and trying to help kind of align everything here. Um, so Divine Feminine, you're probably feeling this again. I know that a lot of Divine Feminines have been feeling these Ascension symptoms because we are kind of going through an Ascension right now. So sleepless nights, um, crazy dreams, you know, things like that where it just kind of makes you question your sanity a little bit. Yeah. Um, so we're all kind of going through that right now. You are not alone. Um, but again, Divine Feminine, and it's the same as yesterday, Divine Feminine really, really tapping into intuition here, really uh, learning to interpret the information she's getting from Source in order to speak her truth. And Divine Masculine's doing this as well. Um, Divine Masculine's really kind of opening up to his spirituality now. Uh, there for a while, he was really just kind of like pushing it away, pushing it away. And it, there, was a, there was such a back and forth of, well, I understand the connection. I don't understand the connection. I love the connection. I hate the connection. So now he's just kind of like starting to uh, really develop, um, you know, his spirituality, his, his uh, higher self coming in very strong today, you know. Uh, really trying to show him the way, really trying to explain to him um, you know, in a way that he'll understand that where he is right now is not where he needs to be and he needs to work on that. Okay, so that's really good. So Divine Feminine, whatever work you've been doing, the spiritual work and, and working on yourself, that is working, that is helping Divine Masculine here, okay? So that's really, really good. So again, a lot of spiritual awakenings for Divine Masculines right now, okay? Probably, again, feeling that pull in the heart chakra, all right? Feeling that emotional connection with your twin today, okay? Uh, I know it's it's kind of been a little hard um, because it's hard to feel love when you're frustrated. <laughs> so, uh, you know, try to get out of that frustration mode, okay? And 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 really, really send him healing, okay? Because he needs it right now. He's going through a lot of what you've already been through. So try to be compassionate, <clears throat> okay? Try not to be like, well, it's about time you went through what I went through. No, don't be that way. Okay, that's an ego move. Send him love. Send him send him the healing you wish you had had when you were going through whatever it was you were going through, right? Um, because a lot of us went through some pretty hard times, okay? So he's going through that right now, yeah. Okay, so he's he, re he really is getting it. He's having a lot of epiphanies right now. These tower moments that he's been going through are not in vain, okay? It's like, 
he was just keep getting hit over and over and over again with these tower moments, right? Because he just wasn't getting it. It's like he refused to get it, right? Um, so, but, but now he's starting to get it, all right? He is learning a lot more, all right? Whether it's from downloads, whether it's from research, whether it's from things that he's hearing from other people, um, you know, the dreams that he's been having, you know, it's starting to make a lot of sense to him, um, you know, if you've been coming to him in dreams and you've been trying to explain things in the 5D, maybe you're not in communication, which most, most of my collective are not in communication. Some are, but most are not. Um, if you've been trying to communicate with him in the 5D, you know, he's getting those messages. He's getting those downloads. And it's starting to make a lot of sense, right? He knows that he needs to walk away from the situation that he's in because it just, it's just not good for him, right? It's very, very toxic. Um, and so I do feel like, like I said before, that a lot of illumination is coming for him, okay? He's really starting to see the bigger picture here, right? He's starting to see this mountain here, and he knows he needs to climb, and he needs to get to the other side, okay? But he first has to drop all of this emotional crap, all this karma, um, you know, all this crap that just keeps him feeling stuck, all the toxic nonsense, right? Uh, because he's been stuck in this for so long, though, it's really, really hard for him to break out. Uh, I do feel a lot of these divine masculines that I'm picking up on today, um, you know, have have some uh, addiction issues for sure. Um, doesn't have to be substance abuse. It, it really could be anything. <laughs> it could be video games. It could be sex, right? Um, but really, anything that's a coping me mechanism, right? That that basically keeps you from facing the things that you need to face. Okay, that that is an addiction. That is a um, codependency, right? Um, so having a hard time breaking out of that though, because he's been in this for so long, it's all he knows. It's all he knows. And so, so these, these awakening, uh, these awakenings that are happening across the board, they're really, really bringing to light all of these things that need to be cut out, right? And he's having a hard time with it. He is, I mean, he knows, but he's still having a hard time with it, right? Um, still trying to figure out how to express the way that he feels to those around him, you know, the ones that are, that are keeping him stuck in lack and, and whatnot, you know, and also trying to explain things to you. He really doesn't know how to do that because he's, uh, Layman's turns act like a jerk for such a long time, right? Because he was so afraid of what was happening and he just didn't want to deal with it anymore, um, that he just doesn't know how to come to you now. He's afraid that you're just going to queen of swords him, right? You know, but he has been having these towers. He is coming um, into himself a little bit better now. He's starting to understand a lot more um, whether he, you know, realizes it or not. He's going through an ascension or an awakening, okay? Um, so you're probably feeling that right now, right? You are on his mind. The connection is on his mind. He can't help it. He can't help it. He can't get rid of it. And that, for the longest time, was making him so angry. He was so pissed off. He could not get rid of this, right? And, and neither could you. So you're probably going through this, too. You're like, ah! Um, so he can't get rid of it. He knows that it's a it's a connection. It's a soul connection here, right? The divine's coming in to, to assist this, this connection, right? And he just knows he can't get rid of it. He can't. You're not going anywhere. He tried. He tried. He probably tried, you know, with this, whatever this is, right? And he just couldn't, just couldn't, he just couldn't, right? Uh, the wheel just keeps on turning. The cycles that need to end are just ending, right? And it just keeps going. And, you know, here you are dancing, nah, 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 super happy. And he's just like, I don't, I don't understand, right? <laughs> so um, things are happening the way they should, though. He is coming into an awakening, all right? Um, the, last couple, the last week or two have been pretty... I don't know, just like, yeah, like I said, I've been having headaches and stuff like that, so I guess I'm feeling this from the DM, but I also could be going through Ascension. I know a lot of Divine Feminines are going through Ascension, so it's probably a mix of both that you're feeling right now, um, you know. But yeah, Divine Masculine been feeling very stuck for a very, very long time, okay. He's just so afraid to let go, right, because he doesn't know what's going to happen. He has no idea what's going to happen, and it's freaking him out. He doesn't like me not being in control, right? Um, so he needs to figure out how to release control on his own, just like you had to do, right? Um, so he'll figure it out. It'll be fine. 
all is fine all is fine and so divine feminine yeah I got some uh, definitely have some mirroring here okay so some divine feminines you still have some toxic cycles that need to end as well um, you know feeling stuck in these karmic situations you, you can't seem to to get your way out of them right I know it, it, you have to focus on the what or on the uh, sorry on the what and not the how right uh, so remember to just you know keep working on yourself keep keep building up uh, yourself here and eventually you know you will find the way to get out of these situations okay you have the power to do this you just have to you just have to hunker down and go within, right? So everything you've learned, all of the lessons that you've learned, everything that you've sown, okay, is about to come to fruition. You just need to have patience with yourself first and foremost. A lot of you have a lot of issues forgiving yourself, a lot of issues um, with self-worth, you know, like just feeling like nothing you're doing is working, right? Well, it is working, okay? But you have to work on yourself. That's the point. That's the point, right? Um, so try not to dwell too much on it, you know? Three of Wands here, again, Divine Feminine, you know, standing up, trying to to lead the way here, and that's exactly what you're supposed to do, you know, sending messages to our DM in the 5D, and he is getting them, and he's returning. He is returning those messages, okay? You just need to open yourself up to it, all right? Um, spirit trying to also come in and, and kind of show you the way here. So so stand in your power. High Priest says, stand in your power, okay? Keep working on that inner child work. A lot of you do have inner child work still that you need to work on. Let's be honest, it's never done, right? Um, but definitely delving into her spiritual knowledge here. I do feel a lot of Divine Feminines are very, very stable within themselves right now. Even though they're feeling, you know, kind of impatient, kind of frustrated, they are, you know, starting to feel that inner alignment, okay? And that's that's kind of like a like a fluttering feeling, uh, like in your in your heart chakra, in your, your solar plexus, that sort of thing. Uh, so you're probably feeling that inner alignment, and that's really, really good, okay? Because uh, you're standing in your power, Empress here, you know, you're doing your thing, you're setting your boundaries, right? You're getting over all those towers, okay? And you're doing exactly what you need to do in order to work on yourself, and that's good. That's good. So, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, I do feel are in very good places right now. They hadn't been here for a while, but I do feel the coming together, okay? This next month is going to be really, really interesting, I feel. Um, and I know I'm not the only one who said that. I, I do feel it's going to be very, very interesting. I do sense a lot of awakenings, uh, possibly some beginning steps to union for some twins. Um, definitely going to happen. It's not going to happen overnight, right? Um, but let's get some messages here from your counterpart. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, your counterpart wants you to take some time for yourself. Okay, remember to focus on yourself. Stop focusing on them so much. I know it's really hard to do. Trust me, it is so hard to do. It's like it, he's always there. I can't, it's like I can't get rid of it, right? I understand. Okay, but you got to focus on yourself, right? Stop focusing on him, okay? Again, some towers definitely uh, recently happening for the Divine Masculine, but also probably Divine Feminine too. And, they, and there may be some more coming. There may be some triggers coming, right? Just let them come. Deal with it. Um, it's fine. You didn't fail if you were triggered, right? You didn't fail. Okay? Uh, face your fears. Face the things that uh, you need to, to purge from your life. Face the doubt in you and get rid of it. Okay? There's no time for it. Right? Make the sacrifices that you need to make. Okay? Cut out the things in your life that do not serve you. This is like the consistent message that I get for this particular collective. It's like we're having issues cutting out the things that that don't serve us, okay? And addiction can be anything. It doesn't have to be a substance, okay? It could be a work, it could be job. Like, you could be addicted to your job. You could be addicted to, you can be addicted to anything. Really, anything, it's anything that you can throw yourself into to make you forget the world around you. That is an addiction, okay? That is an addiction. It's a coping mechanism, right? So, so let go of the addictions and find your happiness, find your mission, okay? Be of service to someone else. Right? So whatever 
Whatever it is that you've been doing that has been keeping you stuck, just go within, reevaluate it, reassess it, right? Figure out what it is and then change course. Just change it. Okay, you have the power to change you. You don't you don't you can't control the situation, you can't control your divine masculine, you can't control the connection, but you can control you. You can control you. Okay. Let's take a look, get some messages from the universe today. All right, cancer coming in pretty strong today. So we've had cancer. What have we had? We've had Sagittarius, cancer. Okay. Um, so you and your loved ones are safe. So, so try again, try not to worry so much. Okay. Really? I, I know a lot of you probably have family that you're worried about, children and things like that. Stop trying to worry about that. Okay. Stop worrying about that. Everything's going to be fine. Okay. Pisces coming in today. You need to keep yourself balanced. Um, you need to keep yourself, yep, balanced in spirituality and practicality, okay? You gotta have both. You gotta have both, okay? Um, it, while it's wonderful to live in a dream world, <laughs> you know, you have to balance yourself out, right? Uh, so stay balanced. So Capricorn coming in today as well. Um, so your hard work is paying off. So, so remember when I was saying you were feeling like nothing you were doing is working? It is working. It is working. It is working. Divine timing. Everything is working out the way that it should, okay? New start is coming, all right? A lot of you, a new cycle is beginning, all right? It could be a, a karmic cycle. It could be a cycle with your divine masculine. It could be a spiritual cycle, okay? So there is a new cycle coming, all right? So you just need to have faith. Again, trust in the universe. Trust in the plan. Everything is unfolding the way that it needs to, okay? Just release. Just let it go right all right all right guys well thank you so much for stopping by i really appreciate it uh if this has resonated please like share subscribe i really appreciate that as well and i sincerely hope you guys have a good rest of your day thanks so much Bye bye